Hello guys, in this video I'll show you on how you can create an Outlook calendar bot in NitN. This bot will be capable of creating events, deleting events, update events and get all events. I will first do a quick demo on how this bot works and afterwards I will show you on how you can create this workflow yourself. All right, let's say we want to create an event at 2 p.m. with the title gym and with the end time at 4 p.m. Can you create an event for 2 p.m. and an end time at 4 p.m. with the title gym? So we're going to test workflow. We're going to create an event. We're going to put it in our calendar. Now we can see gym at 2 p.m. until 4. That's perfect. Now let's say we wanted to um, change the name gym to work. So we're going to say, can you change the title gym to work? Gonna test the workflow again. All right, and now we can see that uh, the title has been changed to work. Now we want to say what's on my schedule for today. So we're gonna check our schedule. Then we can say what's on my schedule for today. Then we're gonna run the workflow. Then it's gonna say uh, we have work. Start time is 2 p.m. and the end time is 4 p.m. And let's say we wanted to delete the event. So then we say can you delete the event work? The workflow is done. Then we can look in Telegram. They say the event titled work have been successfully deleted. And then in Outlook, we can see that it has been deleted from our schedule. Now we'll look into how you can create this workflow yourself. First of all, you got to do a on trigger Telegram message with the trigger on message. You obviously got to connect your credentials. After the Telegram trigger, we have a switch node here that's going to look if it is a audio message or a text message. I've also created a video on this, so I will link it down below. And then in the AI agent, we do just a quick prompt. The text is json.text and the system message is just the basic system message. Today is now and add one hour to all events start and end time when being asked about to get events. I did the add one hour to all the events because it uh, helps me adapt to my time zone. And then we're gonna uh, connect an open AI model, of course. The open AI model is gonna be a GPT 4.0 mini. Uh, I did this because it's just the fastest and the most cheap. I added a bit of buffer memory and then we're going to do the first tool and that's the create event tool. And then first of all, we're going to add our Microsoft uh, Outlook credentials. Then the tool description, we're going to do set automatically. The resource is going to be an event and operation is going to be create. Then you're going to select the calendar that you want to create the events on and the title is going to be from AI title. What From AI does is that it's going to look into our prompt uh, with the AI agent and then it's going to see, okay, what is, the, what is the title, what is the start and what is the end? And then it's going to uh, fit the data perfectly within uh, all the slots. So uh, From AI title, the start is going to be From AI start and the end is going to be From AI end. Then it will look into what the start time is, the end time and the title. Uh, for the second tool, we're going to do delete event. The delete event is going to be event, resource, and operation delete. And you're going to pick your calendar there, which you want to delete events from. And the event ID is going to be uh, from AI, and then ID. And then the description is the ID that matches the event ID. Then the get events tool. The get events tool is uh, going to be resource event, operation get many. So the calendar is going to be our calendar that we want to select. This, uh, for me, it's the calendar. And I'm going to do return all because I want to see all the events that I have for the specific day. Now we are going to do update event. And update event looks a lot like the create event. So the update event is going to be operation update. Uh, calendar is obviously your calendar that you want to uh, update the events on. The event ID is going to be from AI ID and then uh, the ID that matches the event ID. So it's just the same as the delete tool. And the end is going to be from AI end. Start is going to be from AI start. And the title is from AI title. The only thing that we have left now is the response. And the response is just the chat ID. This was the Outlook calendar bot in NNN. If you have any questions or any malfunctions that you can't fix, just leave a comment down below and we'll try to react to every comment. Thank you very much.